All right, as we get things situated here, as we've made some uh, changes in this upcoming match, we have gone from uh, Godfrag, best of three, all the way down to a Sebo P week five makeup match between Pure and a Dynamic. I'm Anger, and also sitting next to me, not literally, but kind of, it is Wansom. Hello, Wansom. Hey, what's going on? Uh, we're getting ready to go here in the knife round. Uh, just waiting on a couple people ready up here. And uh, we'll get going here. Again, this is going to be Sivo here on uh, MP Crossfire, one of my favorite maps. And uh, too bad we couldn't get that Godfrag match going, Anger. But uh, we're here bringing you guys a cast here, and uh, we'll, uh, we'll be up all night with you. All right. Over, we're going to go, as they're knifing, we're going to go over the starting lines really briefly here. For Dynamic, we have Jesse, L-O-L, -L, uh, with the dollar signs. It will be Sage, and he doesn't care about the economy. This guy is straight balling, so he, that's why he has the dollar symbols. We have Oxy, New York, and we're going to roll out the red carpet for the first time in CVOP. Let's give it up for the backup, Winky. Winky has here for his first time. So everybody out there in IRC land, please give it up a golf clap for Winky. Now for Pure, we have Delicious Snatch Coach Gladiator. I feel like I'm naming purses. And uh, last but definitely not least, Limitless. Those are your starting lamps as uh, they're still going over the knives here. Want some predictions here for Crossfire? What are you calling out, my friend? Uh, dynamic, going to surprise Pure. Uh, Pure is going to win. going to be a close match, though. Um, I think that uh, Dynamic is one of the better teams that uh, hasn't got a whole lot of recognition this last season. Um, you know, I do think they've had, what, the departure of JTF2, Anger? I believe he played for them for a little while. Um, that's, you know, definitely, you never want to see JTF2 leave a team. He's a great player, a great guy. Uh, but they are a, a pretty well-rounded team. They play well together. And I do think this match will play to them. Uh, but i got to give the odds-on uh, skill advantage here to Pure Gaming. Speaking of JTF2, and I, I know he's going to get pissed at me saying this, but I don't care because it, it's like I've never had this happen before. I'm on vent talking to, or actually X-Fire, and then I get on vent and talk to him, and this dude's getting a freaking BJ while I'm talking to him. I mean, dude, <laughs> I know I turn people on, but my God, JTF2, please get up off the damn mic, go handle your business, and then hit me up on X-Fire. I mean, you don't have to talk to me. I hear this dude moaning. I mean, come on, JTF2. Get it together, you Canadian. All right. On the video, the man, the myth, the legend. From Canada, Limey. Hello, Limey. What's going on? Hey, not much. Um, just trying out some quick live. Didn't have much time, though, because I had to be here. But, uh, yeah, you should guys should try that. It should be pretty much fun. Uh, probably more fun than Battlefield Heroes will be. Uh, but, yeah, I was checking that out and um, yeah make sure to follow me on uh, twitter.com slash Limec and uh, I'll keep you posted about the cast that I'm doing and things like that and same with programmingtv.com nice shameless plug there Limec but uh, it's yes all indeed good. all Thank right you very much <laughs> okay number one as we told you before just a little bit earlier head on over to pound axis dash pro on the game search network if you want to be in a drawing for a free one month 13 man COD 4 server. It will be random. It will be at the end of this cast. We will pick a winner. And again, go idle and definitely go perform pound axis pro on the game search network. Or you can also, if you want to get another server, if it's not COD 4 you want to play, make sure you go to our website at wwwe revtv At the very top, you'll see the Axis Pro banner. Make sure you click on that and use the promo code EREV and you will get three yes ladies and gentlemen that is a lot especially in this economy three free slots for any gaming server that Axis Pro provides so that's how you do it get it done people make sure pound Axis Pro as uh, we get ready for this match we're just waiting for the last two members here K oh poor Poor Winky, he gets pulled. Caseman makes it back. Oh my God, Winky! 
They put Winky back on the bench. He'll be getting splinters once again. Case Man has made it back here for the fifth man for Dynamic. So poor Winky, if you guys are in Pound Dynamic, make sure you give uh, your sorrows and your sympathies to Winky as he got close to playing his first CBOP match wants him. Discuss! That, that, that hurts a little bit more that uh, the man who runs Call of Duty 4, a.k.a. Anger, uh, made a big deal about him getting to play tonight, and then he gets pulled last minute. So... Uh, hard that to sucks. Guy, but, uh, you know, it's, Rudy, it's right. Rudy. We'll D. <laughs> <laughs> That's almost getting freaking late, and then she says, oh, no, I'm tired, or I'm too drunk. Wait. 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 That's not supposed to happen. They're sober. They're sober. <laughs> if we take a look at these rosters, Anger, uh, there's, there's a lot of people here with some history, you know, in the COD community, whether it be good or bad. Uh, Jesse, LOL, uh, he and I have... Uh, disagreed on some things, and uh, we'll see how he plays tonight and whether or not I treat him nicely. Uh, Sage. Um, always weird to see Sage without Serb. Uh, those two were married in the top world for the longest time. Uh, not a freaking clue what happened to Serb, but Sage, a good player, underestimated player in my opinion. Uh, Caseman, New York, all those guys, great players, uh, and can come up big when their team needs them to. And then you take a look at this pure roster, and uh, I mean, it's just highlight after highlight for them in my opinion. And again, a uh, very good team, very close-knit team, uh, but Rob Wiz is on the bench for them right now. And uh, I gotta say, that's just that's crazy. You know, they're a good team, they're a great team, but Rob Wiz makes your team better. So it'll be interesting to see uh, how long they stick with these five. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna take a look at Pierre off to start right now as a coach sniping and uh, providing the scope action for you, the peeps out there. As nobody has died quite yet, it looks like we have Gladiator going to the B bomb site as we speak. But Delicious has the bomb, and he's going to work that area very slowly. That would be the B bomb site. He's going to get that smoke up right now, and hopefully get this plant down as he gets a big jingle jingle. As Pierre right now, it looks like they're laying back. Two members of Dynamic, Dynamic left alive and kicking, and it looks like Pierre is saying screw the bomb because they are really being aggressive here on the offense here, Wansom. Yeah, definitely. So they're they're not really coming out with a whole lot of respect that first round uh, for their opponent in dynamic, and uh, the last player is going to fall there to snatch with that SMG, uh, one to zero right now in favor of Pure Gaming, uh, Pure Esports. Sorry, as I continue to mess that up, my my mistake. Uh, hopefully, no harsh words there. Uh, but again, uh, I, I got to give the overall talent uh, uh, plus one right now to the Pure Gaming. I think they're going to be able to uh, do a lot of things in this match that they can't do. Uh, against, you know, say, X3 or Pandemic, so uh, there'll be a lot of fun to watch. We'll take a look here. Uh, Coach again with that scope shooting towards Cafe. He is smoked out. Uh, we're going to have Limitless playing up in top corner. Snatch coming down through bottom bike. Uh, first kill of the round will go to Gladiator here as New York falls to that SMG, so 4v5 right now in favor of pure gaming anger. Uh, Jesse going to answer right back with an MP5, and uh, just going back and forward right now. Really not a whole lot of pushing coming from either team. They're picking each other with SMGs of all things. Uh, smoke is down here at this B site. We'll find the bomb. That's going to be delicious. He'll have the bomb uh, playing back behind the garage uh, towards the bus area right now. Uh, Limitless playing on top of the fruit stand. He'll be firing towards top A and last one standing here. If he's still standing, it's going to be Jesse and Sage. Jesse getting lit all to hell. Sage with a scope shot. Uh, taking down Gladiator there. So it's 3v2. This is manageable, Anger. Uh, smoke going up and a nade coming down on Delicious. So it's going to be 2v2 here. Coach and Limitless going up against Sage. And uh, Jesse, I believe, here. We're going to have Je uh, Limitless playing in the B alleyway. Uh, Sage looking for a scope shot playing by newspaper right now. He's got to be careful. And uh, we'll find Coach trying to counter scope right now. He's playing by the fruit stand, uh, headed into checker room right now here at the B site. 30 seconds left on the clock. Bomb is down uh, on the B site, not planted, however. So uh, right now it's going to be uh, pretty much a back and forth. Somebody needs to get a pick here. Hopefully the offensive team, as uh, looks like Limitless, is going to take out Sage there. This will lead to a plant, hopefully a good oh. round. I uh, could see some clutching here, but not so much as the people's champ, Limitless, is going to wow. take out 2 to nothing right now in favor of Pierre. Trying to compare himself to The Rock, he calling himself the people's champ. Is he going to come down with the elbow drop or what? He did in that round, at least at least with the weapon. All right, we're going to see what Dynamic does here on defense as I'm going to take a look at them. Limey, let's take a look at the scope. That would be Sage with the dollar signs in his window. Well, looks like he's not going to see much there as the smoke has been deployed. Uh, let's move on over to Oxy here as looks like he's going to hold down the A bomb site. Limey, as I bounce around, let's take a look at Jesse LOL. He's going to hold down the A bomb site also as of right now. No one has died. No one has died here in this round. So as we're looking in Jesse's screen here, he's just holding off. Uh, right now, let's take a look at New York. He looks like he's going to be entering the action here in Watermelon's Limex. So let's take a look at New York. New York with the MP5. Nothing going there. No one has died yet. Ah, my goodness. We've gone almost uh, three, about a quarter way into this round, if not halfway. 
Uh, and right now it looks like it is 2-0 again still in the favor of Pierre in case you just joined us This is a Sebo week 5 makeup match as coach takes out Oxy there with a nice scope placement And oh, right now it looks like we have Limitless trying to work the bomb site there He sees uh, looks like Snatch moving on over to the paint shop. There's the scope And there it is Snatch taking out a Sage there So New York and Caseman the last two standing here as Gladiator in Watermelon holding that down. Delicious looks like he's going to get the bomb down. Case Man, the last man. Case Man gets taken out there by Snatch rocking the 74. And that is a team ace, ladies and gents. So 3-0 to zero now in the favor of Pierre. As we, uh, we're going to head on over to War Room. Let's go to Dynamic Limey. Let's go. Watch for the nades. Oh, he got me through the smoke. Nade on A, nade on A. Push Top B, push down. B alley, B alley, B alley. They're pushing That's the road hard. up through the smoke. I'm not smoking anymore. Explosives planted. That smoke is so good that they're getting back in. All right, we're back here four to zero as Pierre rocks another round on the scoreboard. Juan, so what are we seeing from, Dy well, I should say, what are we not seeing from Dynamic here as they're just getting lit up? And again, as you were stating in the very first round, Juan, some Pierre is really showing no respect, at least from our perspective, and they're just really rolling up Dynamic. Uh, what do they got to do here to, to stop this bleeding here, my friend? They, they don't have the SMGs right now to compete with, with Pierre, I don't think, as they are going to explode this round with three early kills. Uh, but right now, the hole I see in Dynamic uh, on the defensive is actually in the bike area, bottom light. Uh, the SMGs from uh, Pure Gaming are able to push that, and uh, that has them flanked from the B alley, which is where New York is playing, and he falls to Delicious there as uh, he actually gets killed from inside Checker. Uh, but again, that's the hole I see right now. They're, they're B guys that are rushing are getting flanked right now from uh, bottom bike and uh, the light room as well. So uh, if they can pick up their SMG play a little bit there and slow the rush, uh, they're going to do a lot better, and this is going to be a little bit of a test here to see how good of a team uh, Dynamic is. They were up, I believe, uh, 4v2, uh, if it wasn't uh, 5v2, I'm not positive. I think it was 5v2, it was. Uh, it is now 2v3. So we'll take a look here. Delicious and Coach still up here for Pure Gaming. Uh, Delicious going to put the bomb out, uh, going to fake it, throw some smoke, run away, hopefully get some nades out. Coach is going to fall to Jesse, 1v3 now. Uh, looks like Oxy is going to be pushing up towards the bus side, uh, playing in the middle of the street, basically. Uh, Jesse headed up into top corner right now. Uh, Case Man playing in cafe, and Delicious is going to have the bomb. He's stuck right now, uh, waiting for a peek here coming from Case Man in the cafe area. He's going to play the corner, see if he can't get the peek. And uh, Case Man's going to meet him right in the face as I get a phone call. Sorry about that. Uh, going to be one to four right now in favor <laughs> of uh, Team Pure here as they are. They're playing very well. Dynamic got three early kills there, Anger, and uh, they were not able to turn that around as they lost three players in the first ten seconds of that match. Yeah, they're probably calling you about your car warranty as everybody seems like they get that freaking same call, so. I'm sure it's about re-extending your car warranty. All right, as we get to the next round here, uh, very good to see Dynamic get on the board as it looks like uh, Sage can only do so much. Jesse needs to pick up his play here as we're going to take a look here at Delicious Lemmy. Let's take a look at him as he's bobbing and weaving right now, taking a look in Watermelons. Gladiator right now. Uh, get some shots on him. Nothing going there. Gladiator just bleeding off a little bit as they're attacking the B bomb site here. As Snatch has made his presence felt also in this area, so they are making a strong push here. Uh, Pure is into the uh, B bomb site. New York taking out Snatch, and right now Dynamic uh, picking up here and as of late. So good to see that. Oh, what a shot from Coach taking out Case Man from long distance. Coach, lighten it up right now. Delicious with the bomb, and he's laying in the bus. He's taking a little bit longer than I anticipated from them as they had control of that site. Uh, let's see if he can get that down. Jesse, LOL, and Oxy here for Dynamic. Jesse hanging out by uh, the uh, a uh, little walkway stairwell there as he's trying to peek in. Coach now is looking for him. Uh, he's looking at the bottom of the uh, A house right now. He sees, it looks like... Oh, no, he didn't get it. Oh, there he goes. He takes out Oxy. Oxy was just kind of peeking there. He was living dangerously as Coach missed the first shot but didn't miss the second. There. So right now it is Jesse LOL. So the pressure is on. Oh, he gets taken out by Coach 5-1 to one as Pierre gets another round. Wants him. The people want it. The people are asking for it. Let's go to Pierre's war room. Let's go.
Yeah, one's in, one's in. I think two's in. Nice. I got that guy. One went bottom A. Never mind. I got the other nice. one. Nice. Nice, Shush. I got plus like six on that round. Raptor. This guy's scope, isn't it? Oh, he plays day. Ace. Ace. All right, we're back here. Another team ace for Pier, six to one, as Pier is a really extend their lead and showing why why they are on the top of North America again. One A, one B, one C. It depends on the map, depends on the day, and how the moons are aligned here. Wants them. Who's going to be the best in North America? But as we get to this next round, take it away, my friend. Yeah, and, and you know, I've seen just real quickly. I've seen I've seen Dynamic play better on this map. I do think we saw JTF2 play with them on this map. And, uh, you know, I think they were down pretty crazy uh, when they were on the defensive side. They were down, I think, nine rounds to three, and they came back and won on the offensive side. So uh, this one's not over, guys. This is a blowout right now, but we got a whole other half to play here. So uh, hopefully we'll see Dynamic pick it up in a little bit here as uh, looks like <laughs> we're going to have, you know, I'm not sure who that is right now as they've changed names. That is going to be, uh, who is Bomb Bitch Anger? I, I can't even remember. That is like going to be... Uh, Ooh, as I'm looking through here, no, Snatch Coach, Glad. Oh, that's uh, Delicious. Delicious, okay. Okay, Delicious is Bomb Bitch. Uh, he's doing his job. Yeah, he's Bomb Bitch. Right he's now. been dropping the bomb, so. <laughs> it's going to be, uh, right now, we'll take a look at the Rev scoreboard. We haven't done that yet. Uh, on, on top of the pure side, we're going to have Gladiator at 11-5. and five. He's played dominantly the last couple rounds here. So pure is probably going to take this round 3v1. Uh, Jesse going to put one into Coach there, 2v1 now. Uh, Snatch is going to be second on the team with 10-3. and three. Uh, got a five from, uh, I'm sorry, uh, uh, Delicious here, and Coach and Champ going to have a seven and a three. So Limitless uh, at three and five right now, not playing so hot. Um, and on the other side of the board here, we're going to have Dynamic with Sage on top, six and eight, five and seven coming from Oxy. Uh, Jesse, three and six, a three and seven from Case Man, and a one and eight comes from New York right now. So Bomb is planted today, and uh, we'll take a look here. Snatch going to move back to help cover the Bomb. Uh, Jesse going to have to rotate all the way from Corner House right now. He's coming through. Uh, Mid-street right now, Anger got an MP5 out, he's got it iron-sided, moving slow, moving quiet, and uh, he's going to run into somebody right about now as he turns the corner, mm. and there is... Oh, the uh, bomb sled. Himself, ...one to seven now, in, in favor of Pure. Yeah, the bomb sled working it there as uh, he closes out the round. That would be delicious as uh, we get going to this next round again. Head on over to Pound Access Dash Pro on the Game Surge Network and be in the drawing for a one month free 13 man COD 4 server tonight after this match. So uh, stay tuned for that as we will have the winner of that drawing. All right, here we go. Dynamic once again down. One man advantage here going to Pure as it looks like now everybody from Pure is changing their name. So we're just going to call it. Oh, well, we know who that is. That is Coach, a.k.a. Lag there, taking out Case Man. So right now New York is the last man standing here, and he gets taken out there by Coach. So 8-1 to one here as we head to the 10th round. Nothing really changed other than the rounds that Pure is gaining here. So uh, right now 8-1 to one. as we get to the next round. Wants him. Uh, you know, it, it's, it's been a little controversial, in my head, anyway. Probably not to anybody else. Uh, you know, who the number one scope in North America is now. Now, uh, if, if you read the Got Frag article, you saw Prank, uh, you saw Rob Wiz on top of that. Um, and I also read their SMG article. And oddly enough, Prank and Rob Wiz were not in the running for the SMG article. Uh, you know, I understand why they did that, but uh, in my opinion, when those two players were playing, especially against each other, those were the two best all-around players in this game, bar none. Uh, Prank with an SMG was something to watch. Rob Wiz with an SMG was untouchable. Uh, Prank was a more dominant scope. Rob was right behind him. Uh, with Rob Wiz leaving this game, coming back, haven't seen him play yet, you know he's going to be amazing. Uh, but I have to say right now, uh, and you know this is a big step for me, as far as scopes go oh. in this game, Coach, Coach is on top right now. He is the best all-around scope in this game. Uh, you know, I haven't, haven't particularly seen him play against Prank. Um, you know, on a map such as Crossfire or anything like that, could be a good matchup. But uh, right now, um, you know, and we can debate this a little bit. Get your shout-outs to me. Get your shout-outs to Eric on the e dash Rev on the Game Search Network or Anger uh, on who you think the best all-around no, 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 all player. Go ahead. No, Eric, to you. No, to you. Oh, we'll we'll send it all okay, to okay. Eric. <laughs> uh, you know, but right now I'm saying Coach is the best all-around scope in this game. Prank, uh, the most dynamic all-around player in this game. So let me know what your thoughts are on that. Uh, my name is Eric and e dash Rev on the Game Search Network. You know, I have to say this, uh, Eric. I know as much as you love Prank, for you to say that Coach is at the top scope, that is saying a lot because I know how much you love uh, Prank and what he's done as a scope. So that's saying a lot. Uh, Coach is really uh, how he's been playing in your eyes, my friend. 
Yeah, without a doubt. And again, it, it's not to say that the, the prank is still. Uh, by far, in my opinion, the best all-around player in this game, no matter what weapon he has in his hands. He's the best all-around player and, uh, you know, top three as far as clutching goes, things like that. But it's an all-around scope, pure scope, vanilla scope. Uh, right now, Coach is, is on top of my list. He's playing phenomenal. And, uh, you know, the way Pandemic has, uh, has played has a lot to do with how Frank is playing. A lot of the maps, he switches weapons every other round. Uh, so, you know, that has a lot to do with that. It's Pandemic's play style. But uh, just as far as pure scopes go, Karch... Uh, coach has uh, has my my uh, flat out both. Well, ladies and gents, dynamic has uh, has risen here at least for this round. Uh, as they're looking good, we have coach, and what a nade there from Jesse taking out coach there. So the last man is going to be delicious as he is. Uh, we're going to take a look at him right now as he is now known as Bomb Bitch. As he's going to try to get this down, smoke being deployed around the B bomb site. As right now, he's going to be working probably. Uh, yeah, he's going down the stairwell to the cafe. So let's see here what Oxy Caseman and Jesse can do here. You, it's safe to say that Dynamic should get this round, but let's see what uh, the the clutch goggles do here uh, for Delicious. And he gets taken out there by Caseman. Good job there. As Dynamic picks up another round, so 10 to 2. As uh, we head, as we get closer to uh, halftime, about four more rounds, I believe, is it? Or three more rounds, something like, something like that. But anyway. It's about 15 rounds and a half. Yeah, yeah. So we're getting close here. Three more rounds here. Uh, we get to halftime as, uh, again, uh, next cast, uh, you will get to see myself and maybe once. I'm not sure if he's going to do the camera. But you will see our sexy asses live as we're casting. And I'm going to bring in a special guest here in a little bit. But once, why don't you take this round away? Yeah, no problem. Uh, this one's going to be a 5v4 right now here in favor of Dynamic. Not something we've seen too much in the past here as uh, Bomb is going to be headed back towards Locker Room right now. And uh, again, that is going to be Bomb Bitch. So uh, he'll be headed in towards the Bomb side right now. We're going to have, uh, looks like Snatch. <laughs> he is rushed mid-street right now. I don't know if we can get a look at that Lymec. He is behind uh, uh, the bronze car right here playing in the middle of the street waiting for somebody to push out a cafe. That is going to be uh, New York. Uh, and as well as it looks like uh, Sage playing inside the cafe area right now. So if they do rush out, I have to say they are completely outplayed right now with the position that Snatch is taking. He's going to turn the corner, though, a little too preemptively. He gets taken out by Caseman, and I don't even think he was shooting at him as uh, they're going to get two kills in a row there right outside the cafe area. Bomb is being planted right now. Uh, Caseman going to get a kill. Bomb explodes on the planter. He gets away. Bomb is down. He is going to fall, though, so it's going to be a 3 uh, 4v2 right now. We're going to have uh, Coach and uh, looks like Limitless still left up here for pure. Uh, looks like <laughs> Limitless is going to push through oh, wow. and uh, get destroyed there by Oxy. 30 seconds left on the clutch. Can't count out Coach here as he's going to get the kill on Caseman. We do have a defuse going down. Oh. And uh, good placement of smoke there. Good placement. Uh, outplayed the scope a little bit there. Got him smoked out and not a whole lot he could do there. So 10 to 3 right now. Uh, two rounds here left until halftime. Yeah, I keep getting bumped here by my guest. It is. Uh, I want to introduce uh, him in a little bit. But right now we're going to take a look here. Uh, pure, you know, matter of fact, Limey. Let's go to Dynamics War Room. Let's go. I saw him going A. I saw him going A. Charlie B. Top A. That's him. One more. One more. Okay. All right, going top. Top. I hear him top. He's tanked. Hey, nobody dies. Sniper cleaners. Top A. Of course, dude. Of course. The one's back A. There's two at A. Oh my god, he's top A. They're pushing all over A. Explosives planted. Wow. I knew he was there. The oh my god was he didn't die. All right, we're back here, 11 to 3, as I'm going to introduce my special guest. Now, some of you, well, none of you know this special guest, as it is a new caster here at E-Rev. It is the E-Rev casting pig, my friend Bacon. Bacon, say hello. <laughs> right, that is Bacon, as uh, Madcast Gaming knows him and loves him. But he's going to be, from time to time, co-casting with me if Wansom is not here. So say hello to him by hitting me up on IRC at E-Rev. Anger, and uh, I'll make sure I'll send the messages to him. As right now, it looks like Pierre is down a man 3v3 as Snatch takes out Case Man. And uh, right now, it looks like Dynamic is going to probably win this round unless... Oh, there it goes. Let's see here. As the bomb bitch has the clutch goggles on, let's see what Delicious can do here as he's in watermelons. As uh, right now he's just laying out. He's going up against Oxy, Sage, and Jesse. So let's take a look here at him, uh, Limey. 
as we look again he has the bomb he's going up against three members of dynamic uh, sage looking at he's really looking in the oddest places as he's trying to catch a peek there nothing from him oxy at the car nothing from him and jesse is taking a freaking nap right now oh it looks like uh delicious getting uh find it there and he gets taken now pretty easily there as Jesse woke up there from that brief nap 11 to 4 here as uh, we are at halftime Wansom as Bacon has just said hello to you right now in, in my in my ear here Wansom <laughs> go ahead Wansom take it away <laughs> it's been so long that uh, you know Bacon has been a vital part of URF TV we kept him hidden uh, we didn't know what people would think but uh, it's good to have Bacon uh, alive and kicking here on URF TV and again he is going to be uh, uh, quite the phenom here as, as, uh, as the first <laughs> outcasters here. He, he calls rounds like no other. He gets sweaty. He gets hot. And, uh, you know, he's, just, he's, he's an awesome cast. That sounds so like me. Bacon. No, it, 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 that, that's really weird. So, uh, welcome, Bacon, uh, to the EREV TV, uh, <laughs> the, the house of EREV here that Anger has built. So, uh, again, this is a pretty good matchup here. Again, dynamic. I think it's going to do a little bit better here after halftime. Uh, they are down Case Man right now, who is rebooting. Uh, his temperature alarm is going off on his computer, and uh, oh, bring Winky in. Too, too hot for TV, as uh, so to speak. So he's got to reboot, and uh, he'll be back in here. So, uh, yeah, and it'll be a good one here, Anger. I'm, I'm still going to stick with my prediction here. Uh, yeah, I think it's safe to say there as, uh, I mean, crap, I mean, this is not risky like the stock market right now. I mean, this is not a risky investment <laughs> wants him by picking this. I mean, no no disrespect <laughs> to Dynamic. Johnny Five is probably going to expire me right now. I'm, I'm just playing Johnny as I'm just speaking the truth. Johnny Five, the main guy at Dynamic, is this, as uh, he's one of my old BF2 guys there as he raped me in BF2. So I got to I, I gotta talk, tell it like it is, but, you know, right now... Dynamic needs to really uh, show their offense here. And really, one of the things as I'm looking here, Jesse, 6-11. Jesse, you need to wake up, my friend. I know you got a couple kills to close out a round, but you need to step it up, my friend, because uh, right now I know you're one of the, the, the players that Dynamic looks for, and Sage right now is doing his job. He's 11-13, to 13, but for a while there he was uh, scoping it up. Now, again, you're going up against Coach, and no, it's not the purse. It's my man Coach Carter, but you got to – you got to you got to really step up your game here. You're going up against Pure, and uh, right now Dynamic is not doing that. But we'll see what happens here. As uh, they're going to probably approach the B bomb site near the bus, uh, Wansom, as that is the favorite spot. But we'll see if Pure can get in aggressively. As they were on offense, they moved very very fast uh, towards the defense and didn't really at the first part rely on planting the bomb. They're going to move quickly again. Let's see how Dynamic uh, counters that. Uh, wants them as they're going to be going up against uh, Pierce aggressiveness on defense. And again, I think, it, as I've said in the past so many times on this map in particular, uh, SMGs are going to win or lose it for you, especially on the offensive side. Uh, if they're capable of taking that A-bomb site away from the defense, uh, you're going to have a field day at that B-bomb site because the defense cannot set up uh, that crossfire that they want to have at that B-bomb. So if you can take away bottom A and top A, uh, your SMGs play very well at A, you're going to probably win a lot of rounds on the offensive side. If not, uh, something's going wrong in your strat there, so uh, that's what I'm predicting. I think that you're going to see a lot of rushing coming from Dynamic headed into that A house, but I have to give uh, the advantage of SMG right now. The skill skill level again, the talent level uh, is going to Pure right now. Not to not to say anything bad about Dynamic right now. Uh, I just think that the talent level is a little bit higher on Pure Gaming, and uh, we'll see where that takes us as this, as this continues to progress here. And uh, once again, if you guys want a free COD4 server. Uh, head over to Axis Pro in uh, IRC, or you know you can come into E-Rev TV, and we'll get you or E-Rev. I'm sorry, and the Game Search Network will get you the link. Uh, E-Rev is going to be giving away a server through Axis Solutions, uh, phenomenal server company, guys. E-Rev has been involved uh, with a lot of server companies in the past. Uh, some good, some bad, uh, some good relationships, some very bad relationships. And uh, I have to tell you guys, we're extremely excited uh, about the relationship we're building with Axis Pro right now, uh, Axis Solutions, and uh, the phenomenal servers, great hardware, uh, one of the best networks I've seen on, on a, uh, any uh, game server provider, any GSP. So uh, make sure you guys check them out, and uh, make sure you get in their channel right now. Get to Axis uh, Dash Pro on the Game Search Network, and if you guys aren't going there, uh, you are personally offending myself in anger, and uh, nobody wants to make anger angry, let alone... Uh, Mr. Bacon. So, uh, make sure you guys check out. <laughs> if Bacon says go, damn it, people go right now to pound Axis Dash Pro. And uh, right now, since we have some time, we're going to go over some shout outs. As I know, Eric, you probably have some. I'll, we'll just bounce back and forth here, and we'll get our own crossfire going here of shout outs. First, I have W MW12. 
Uh, he's asking for a video request. Oh my God, you're going way over the line here, MW. Well, we'll try to do that next time. Make sure you save that and send it to us earlier, and then we might be able to do that. Vodka from I9 is predicting dy dynamic 1613, unless I I don't know. It may happen. We'll see. That's going to be a tough one. Uh, I cannot pronounce his name, so I'm going to say X I E N C E. Uh, cast for New York. Is it true your X Fire pick is your sister? That is to New York, so you're going to have to answer that via the archive as you watch that. Uh, we have one here from Chill from the COD4 Network. Yo, shout out to COD4 Draft. Fucking the shit up. And speaking of COD4 Draft, I spoke to Scope earlier today, and we will be casting the finals of the COD4 Draft. Now, we did this in the past, Wansom, and I'm going to tell you, late at night, 2 in the morning, our cast got freaking crazy. If you think they're crazy now, some people say we were unprofessional. I say it's just fun in, in games, because 2 in the morning... Who's going to be up but responsible adults like you, yourself, and, and me? So we're going to be casting Car 4 Draft. And, uh, hey, we don't promote drinking, but, hey, we'll have a couple beers next to me. I know I will. Casting the Car 4 Draft Finals. And who knows what you're going to get, Wansom. You may get Euros. You may get some North Americans, some Canadians, some South Americans playing. Who knows what's going to happen. But the Car 4 Draft uh, coming up, if not this Saturday, the following, very soon here, as I'm going to schedule that with Scope. So, uh, Wansom, why don't you go with your shouts really quick here, as it looks like, oh, we're going to start this game. I apologize, Wansom, right. you'll start it off next. Go ahead, my friend. All right, as I, uh, I'll tab back in here again, this is uh, Pure Esports going up against Dynamic here in Cebo. And uh, if you guys are just joining us, we were supposed to have cast the uh, Mob vs. Pure match tonight. Mob cannot field five. And uh, I'm not sure if that's being moved to a later date, Anger. Uh, if we are going to Thursday, cast it, 10. Well, no clue. So, okay, Thursday. Yep, Thursday. Okay, that's fine. Uh, as uh, this match again is going pretty heavily in the favor of Pure Gaming, and uh, <clears throat> as I continue to say that, I'm sorry, Pure Esports, uh, as they are uh, pretty much outplaying Dynamic right now, especially from the SMG perspective, and uh, Dynamic also having some computer problems with Caseman, he was supposed to sit, uh, Winky was supposed to play, Caseman came back in, uh, he had to reboot at half because his computer was overheating, so uh, a lot of things going back and forth, a lot of problems here for this Dynamic team as they are on the offensive now, uh, Sage playing back to, by top corner right now, uh, Snaps looks like he's going to be pushing him, uh, no, he's going to turn back around and run back to uh, Dumpster out behind A House. Uh, so thought better of that as Sage is going to move his way back towards the bus area right now. Looks like he will be jumping uh, to a spot near bus uh, on top of the wall. Haven't seen this play too often as he's looking for a kill uh, towards top A. Looks like Coach is going to run away. And uh, again, Snatch playing here by the uh, bottom A door. Looks like uh, Limitless and Caseman uh, going to be going at it here in a little bit here. It's going to be Jesse and Sage here going up against... Uh, Gladiator, Snatch, uh, Coach, and Limitless. I'm, or I'm sorry, that's uh, delicious. As uh, people keep changing their names and nothing drives me more crazy than that. So uh, two up here, left for Dynamic. It's going to be Jesse and Sage going up against uh, Delicious, Snatch, and Glad here. Uh, we'll see a flank here coming from, uh, looks like, Snatch as he takes down Sage. Bomb is planted, though. And uh, a lot of pre-fire coming down on this bomb. Jesse trying to make his way back. See if he can make it all the way back up into Scope House right now. He's getting shot at. Heads into Scope House. He's in bottom. And he's got a 1v3 right, there, right now. As Gladiator's <laughs> going to defuse this one. Uh, probably not a chance here uh, for Jesse to get this kill as he's going to the corner here. See if he can, and the bomb is defused. So 12-4, to 4, great job by him. I have no idea how he lived that long. Uh, but, uh, you know, you take a look at the scoreboard right now, Anger, and uh, there's, there's just a, a very harsh comparison between the two teams. Yeah, yeah, and right now, uh, let's see here, as we're going to take a look, oh, uh, let's go to Pierce War Room there, Limey, let's go! No one won A, no one A. Top light. Nate Just sight. jumped on cafe, and I'm, I'm going to say it. Once... Hold, hold down. I needed the bomb, watch it. One just went light. Alright, yeah. Top corner light. Got the guy that just was bottom of the hotel. Check this. <laughs> watermelon, watermelon. Watermelon tag. Raptor tag, last guy. He went back in. Oh my god. He's back in, back in, back in. He's right in the corner. The Chill. He's on through the wall. Oh, hold it. Or, oh. I thought you were holding it. No! Run away. Don't let him get a kill. Get a kill. Yeah, How did we blow that? Dude, I don't 
I don't get Alright, we're back here 12 to 5 now. Good job there by Dynamic. As uh, it gets extended a little bit more here, Wansom, as uh, why don't you take a look at Pierre. Let's see how aggressive they're being or not being, as it uh, looks like a little earlier they were. Yeah, definitely so, and uh, I think that's going to pay off for them. I, I mean, there's, there's going to be times where you, you get destroyed when your SMGs are rushing, uh, but for each round when you're up like this that you win with an aggressive SMG push, totally worth it. As uh, We'll take a look here as it's going to be delicious moving in towards the checker room right now. He's headed in towards Watermelon. Uh, we'll have Snatch here playing outside. Bottom bike, he's going to prone around the corner, see if he can't get a kill. He gets shot through the wall by Coach. you got to be kidding me. That was a complete random pre-fire by Coach there. Uh, from top A, I believe, and uh, he shot his teammate square in the back. He falls. Uh, no chance for a rebuttal there, and uh, that was a phenomenal shot by Carter just on the wrong team. So uh, we'll take a look here at uh, Delicious here. Uh, still trying to make his way into the check room here on defense. He has an opponent playing in Watermelon. He's going to come around the corner, and Jesse's going to put him down there with that AK-47. And uh, now Jesse has the bomb. It's going to be a 1v2 right now in favor of Dynamic. Not something we've seen a lot of here. Gladiator, last one standing. Uh, he's going to be playing back by the green car area towards A spawn. And uh, he's going to throw a nade up and over towards the bomb site. Missed terribly there. Uh, bomb is planted. Jesse making his way back towards B house. We'll see Case Man now playing at corner. Uh, Jesse headed into bottom B. Uh, Gladiator got some work to do here. His opponents are split up a little bit on opposite sides of the back of the map right now. Uh, he's got an M16. Not necessarily the greatest clutch weapon of all time. As uh, he's going to be looking for, I believe that is Jesse. I'm sorry, Caseman right now. Jesse playing up high. Uh, Caseman playing inside of the light room right now. So Jesse going to make his way back towards top A, or top sniper, I'm sorry. And uh, pretty much going to have to go for a defuse here and hope all ends well. As uh, He's got about 13 seconds left on the clock. <laughs> he's on the bomb. Going to try and defuse this. He might get this as he gets shot in the foot by Caseman. 12 to 6. And uh, this is what I was talking about a little bit here, Anger. Dynamic plays very, very well uh, on the offensive side of this map. I have to admit something right now, and I'm going to show my age, and some of you kids out there will not understand or know what I'm saying, but every time I heard you say Jesse right now, I felt like I thought about Rick Springsteen's songs, Jesse's Girl, and I got to shake this out of my freaking head here. I'm getting a freaking headache. This is sickening here. Uh, some of you older people that are watching this cast know exactly what I'm talking about, but oh my god. All right, we have Oxy there taking out Limitless, and glad that taking out New York Dynamic is lighting up the board right now, but... Uh, everything is all even though. Three to three here. As oh, right now, I'm gonna take a look here. It looks like the bomb bitch. Yes, that is Snatch. He is hanging out in between uh, the watermelons and the cafe near the B bomb site. Snatch has got control of top A house. Uh, we have Sage with the bomb. Let's see if we can get this planted here. He's trying to make his way right now. He's in watermelons. He knows somebody's there. Limey, let's take a look at Snatch. Or excuse me, uh, uh, Sage right now in the first person view. He's got to hurry this up a little bit. Smoke being deployed around the uh, B bomb site. Let's see what transpires from this. Oxy looks like he's going to be the flank here as he's taking his time. Now, here comes Sage. He's going to peek this. This is not good uh, right now as Coach is still in the confines of this map and alive in him. Uh, let's see what he can do here as Sage now. This is really working against him here. 34 seconds working, working against Dynamic. Dynamic needs to work quick here. As you, as you look at Sage's view here, he sees somebody in bottom uh, A. As Oxy now throwing the flash into the B Cafe. Nothing going there. Here comes Sage. Oh, he gets lit up there by Snatch. Very easy kill as he was kind of in the open there. Snatch just uh, taking refuge a little bit as Coach <laughs> taking out Case. Oxy is by himself here. I feel very bad for Oxy now. He's going to get lit up here. Let's see if he can get the bomb down. Six seconds. No, he's not going to have enough time here. Uh, shots being fired at. Oh, Coach shooting at him. Oh, my God. <laughs> I don't know how he got that plant down. Coach was shooting him. You had Snatch shooting at him. They were wall banging. Co you heard the uh, ricochet from Coach's shot. And I don't know how he got that plant down. But kudos to him, even though it's not going to count around for Dynamic. But wow, that is very odd. You don't see that every day, Wansom. No, definitely not. And, uh, you know, once again, we're on Pro Mod, ladies and gentlemen. This is something we haven't really talked about here. Uh, we are back on Pro Mod. The Deagle is freaking back, guys. Uh, you know, I, I, I can't explain to you how sad I was when I played Damn Mod for the first time and realized that I could no longer kill things with my pistol. So, uh, it, this is Pro Mod. You know, Sibo has made the switch over. Some people happy about it, uh, some people not so happy about it. They've taken some of the changes from Damn Mod and in, uh, integrated into this Pro Mod. And, uh, you know, right now, uh, I would say it's, it's neither a good thing nor a bad thing for COD4. Uh, you know, COD4 is left standing right now from the community uh, that enjoys COD games, doesn't play Counter-Strike, uh, doesn't play TF2. 
Um, you know, this community is waiting for COD 6 to come out, COD 5 Total Bust. And uh, right now it's just, you know, something new for the players right now, going between Pro Mod, Gam Mod, uh, back to Pro Mod, all that kind of stuff. So, um, you know, we've, we've seen probably more mods in this game, game anger than I've seen in any in the past. Uh, you know, I can't speak for Counter-Strike because I despise that game. Uh, but <laughs> as far as uh, COD Please 2 Please tell us how you I feel. Mean, you have the pan. Yeah, exactly. And, and you have the, palm, the, the PAM mod, uh, I'm sorry, for COD 2. And sure, it went through its different phases, uh, but we have never, I, I don't believe, seen any sort of the, the amount of mods, uh, the different ways this game is thought to, uh, meant to have been played by different players. Uh, with the, you know, the, the Dam mod, the Pro mod, the Pam mod, uh, back to the Mav mod, then, then to the Pro mod again. So I think it's gone back and forward, and, uh, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's hurt the game, in my opinion, as we haven't had a solid uh, rule set that anybody has used for an extended period of time. So this round is going to go in the favor of Pure, as it uh, looks like Sage will fall there 14 to 6, two rounds away from a victory here for Pure Gaming Anger. All right, here as Snatch looks like he's given an in-game promotion here. He lost another loan to Ditech, so thank you, Snatch, for, for that one. As he's just self-promoting <laughs> Ditech, <laughs> this dude's a fool, man. All right, uh, right now I'm gonna take a look here at Dynamic. As it looks like they're making a full push here to the A bomb site, but Coach is having none of that as he takes out Oxy. Uh, let's see here how Pure uh, gets to this bomb site. There's Snatch taking out Sage. This is not looking good for Dynamic as they're trying to approach this. Only Glad is down right now for the count uh, for Pierce. So it's going to be four on two as uh, Jesse, oh, oh, with the 74, takes out Coach there. Uh, Jesse by himself as Jesse's girl gets taken out by Snatch. It is almost over here. Wants some 15 to 6 in the favor of Pierce. You know, the, the, I knew that song, Anger, and I was waiting for you to burst out into song after you mentioned that. So, uh, <laughs> hopefully you got that out of your system a little bit there. No more guests. Yes. Still on you have TV as Sage is going to get an early shot on Carter. Don't see that too often. Case Man Oxy getting kills here. Wow, what a storm here coming from Team Dynamic as they are up 5v2 now. Uh, it's going to be up to Snatch and Delicious here. Bomb being planted here at the B site by the side of the bus. Bomb is down. Case Man killing Delicious. So this could be a Team Ace coming from Team Dynamic here. It's a little too late. Uh, too little too late here, guys, so, uh, you know, I have no idea what to tell you there, as there's a Team Ace and Team <laughs> Dynamic here. Well, the moon's aligned, and yes, it wasn't it wasn't a full eclipse, but jeez me, he's Christmas Dynamic looking good, and this is where, this is the Dynamic I'm used to seeing. I mean, maybe not pulling the Team Ace each and every round, but coming out aggressive, and which they haven't done, and again, you have to give pure credit, but Dynamic, I mean, we've seen them many times in past casts, Wansom, this is a very good team, uh, but then again, Pierre is just handling them right now. But Jesse taking out uh, uh, Snatch there, excuse me, uh, Delicious, and uh, right now Dynamic again looking juicy here as they have almost a team ace going on here, or at least they do right now. Three against five, uh, we have Coach, uh, Snatch, and Glad. Glad is getting taken out by Oxy. Let's take a look here at Coach uh, Limey here as uh, the bomb is getting placed here by Jesse as right now... Uh, Coach right now moving in the bottom A building in the deli. Now he's making his way up to the uh, top here with the scope. Let's look at some scope precision here. Let's see if he can do that, make, if he makes me look bad. And not, Oh, he gets taken out by Oxy. Look at Dynamic right now as New York gets the, the plant down. Snatch is the last man standing. Dynamic coming out of the gates faster than a steroided horse. Coming out very, very fast here. Snatch now on the top of A. Let's see here. The clock working it against him. 26 seconds. Let's take a look at. Oh, he gets taken out by Sage very easily there. 15 to 8. I I can't say a comeback is happening because there's still a lot of rounds to be played here. But dynamic, they can do it. But I don't know. It may be a little late here once. Uh, there's there's too many rounds left and not enough in their favor in my opinion. But uh, wow, won a couple of rounds there coming from Team Dynamic. That's that's what you like to see. That's aggressive play on the offensive side. And, uh, you know, they're, they're showing pure no respect in those rounds. That's what they're doing right now. Oxy has just come onto the board just phenomenally here in the last couple rounds. He is now uh, 16 and 17, almost positive here, and is only one player on their team is positive. That's going to, I'm sorry, uh, none of their players are positive here. So I, I read that wrong. Actually, I guess Caseman counts as positive. He is even. And uh, this one going to be in favor of Dynamic again here. It uh, looks like Sage going to get a kill there. Uh, we'll have another kill coming back and forth there, coming from the pure team. Oxy with another kill. This guy's going crazy, Anger, as it's all up to Snatch again. And what a series of rounds here coming from Team Dynamic. Uh, you know, I think there's too many rounds left. 
and uh, not enough in their favor for them to come back and win this, but they will get the plant down here. Snash going to get a kill. Uh, New York wow. going to bomb down here. Looks like Snash going to be firing here uh, up towards top corner. That is going to be Sage the scope. So Sage going to head back, retreat, and uh, make himself safe here so he can get uh, towards that defuse. Uh, Snatch can be moving here towards uh, bottom cafe anger, and uh, he's going to run into New York, who is playing in the corner spot inside of Watermelon, and Sage playing back towards outside of corner, so he can see the bomb from where he's at. Uh, Snatch going to fake this one. He's going to be looking for a kill on the scope here, playing at that bronze car, and uh, New York going to play it cool. He's going to sit inside, wait in that corner. Sage waiting for a peek from the back, actually, and uh, oh. a shot there on Sage. Now this is going to be a close one here. Uh, Snatch is going to be looking for him. Ten seconds left. He gets the kill. Oh. Can he get the defuse? Oh. I think he oh might have God. enough time here. Go. This is going to be really close. Oh, and, uh, my looks God. Like he's going to get this one. I believe he's got this. He oh Good God. game, ladies and gentlemen. What a clutch by Snatch. That's that's phenomenal play there by Snatch. The clutch goggles. You got to bronze those puppies as he came out on top 3v1. And Snatch doing it once again. I thought for sure Dynamic, I'm, I'm serious, if Dynamic would have won that round, I would have stopped the cast, stopped the match, and had them take a piss test for steroids, because I'm telling you, they were winning way too many rounds convincingly. But Snatch put a halt to that, and so no drug test involved here. Wants him. What a clutch. That was phenomenal play. I mean, again, uh, Pure was winning that match. Without that clutch, they're winning. I mean, that's, that's just the story behind the scenes there, but... Uh, that's, that's a great way to go out, especially after Dynamic uh, playing those three rounds in a row, two of them team aces. Uh, and uh, that's, that's quite a momentum shift there, even though it was just a round winner, no need for momentum anymore. Uh, but phenomenal play by Snatch there, and that's the thing you like to see. Uh, good team at Pure, Pure Esports, so uh, hopefully watch them a lot more in the future here, actually the pandemic, and uh, see who comes out on top. All right, again, I want to thank both Pure and, of course, Dynamic for giving us the opportunity to cast this uh, CVOP match. Again, it was a makeup match from week number five, so Pure goes on to win that 16-8, to 8, as you just saw here live on ERED TV. Uh, before we get to the shout-outs, Limek, uh, why don't you pick a winner here? Go to the uh, Pound Axis Dash Pro. Get, make sure everybody get in there right now if you want to get for a drawing. Limek, pick it now. Go ahead, my friend. Over the air, pick it, Limek. Give me a second here. I, I got an interesting shout out real quick. We'll get we'll get back to that. I got a shout out from Winky Anger from Dynamic. It says uh, shout out to myself, self thought, dear diary. I got pulled out of my first Civo P match today due to Case Man's arrival to the scene. I nearly cried when I got pulled. Please, someone do something to relieve my pain. So a uh, little heartfelt moment there coming from Winky. Thought he was gonna get in, got uh, got the boot. Yeah, yeah, and that's got to suck. As uh, we'll probably get back to that in just a second. Want some Limek? Pull the winner, my friend. Uh, winner is I nine solo. Wow, I nine solo solo. I believe he's from South America. If he's not, I know he's Hispanic. But why don't you hit up Limek for all the details? Make sure you hit him up, get the information, or actually disregard. Hit up Pele. As uh, he'll set you up with my uh, with my man John, and uh, we'll make sure that we get the info uh, to you. As uh, Chisholm will get that information uh, to you and how to claim your prize. Again, thank you once again to Access Pro for giving us or giving you the peeps the 13-man uh, Confor server for one month for free. Again, you can check them out at www.access dashpro.com but better yet go on to the eREV website click on the top link there access pro and uh, if you do order something from them make sure you use our promo code eREV and get three free slots uh, for any server that you get whether it be COD4, TF2, anything of that nature make sure you do that and, and uh, make sure you take advantage again access solutions giving us the love and they're giving the love right to the community uh, for that one month free COD4 server again so thanks John for uh, giving the peeps that as uh, you'll get in contact with him and enjoy your server there, uh, Salo. And uh, congratulations on that win. So, Eric, why don't you get your shout-outs, my friend, across the airwaves as we're about to get ready to put this to bed as i got to watch the uh, replay of the uh, Barack Obama speech. Really quick, Wansom, I just want to tell the people out there, I'm not going to get political, but I have to tell you this. If you guys are 16, 17 years old, or actually 17, in 2010, you guys are going to be voting for your Congress and senators, some of them, depending what state you're in. Make sure you listen to what's going on right now. 
take all that information in, what's going on, see what your congressman, senator is doing or not doing, and keep that in your memory bank, and make sure when you turn 18, or if you're over 18, make sure you vote. It is very important you vote. I hate when people talk crap, and they, have, they can't vote or they don't vote. I don't want to hear those voices. People vote. There's a reason some of you say may not, may not do anything, but you know what? At least you contributed to this great country. So once them, take it away. All righty. Uh, I got quite a few shout-outs here, uh, a couple of them uh, regarding the Rob Wiz uh, coach uh, prank conversation there. Uh, really the only one worth mentioning. Uh, coming from EB Zeal, when I asked who was the better scope, he said, you are the best scope ever. Thank you. You are correct, sir. Uh, I have one here from, uh, let's look like, uh, Big Bud is going to say shout-out to Bacon, the E-Rev casting pig. So, uh, <laughs> get more love than me. <laughs> so we, have, we have three casters on the air now. Thus Bacon will be present in, in, uh, in uh, pretty much all future E-Rev cast here. So, uh, we need to get him an IRC account, as he's probably going to get way more shout-outs than me. Uh, that's really about all I have here. I do have an interesting link here, here from uh, CIECO uh, that uh, I'll actually post here. So we've got some uh, uh, news here from the Euro side of the, the, the uh, COD4 circuit here from Fnatic. They have a news article going uh, actually on CVOP and the roster changes as far as backslash with JTF2 joining them uh, and also uh, Mob Gaming with 47 and Paler NRV Juvenile and uh, to be announced. So uh, I'll get that out for you, uh, Sieko. That's a good article. So make sure you guys check that out. Uh, that's all I got. Good match. Uh, it was a little last minute. We didn't get the uh, Godfrag match that we wanted due to Mob not being able to field five. Uh, I know that sounds a little heartless on my fault, but, uh, you know, whatever. Get your team together. Uh, get, get some cast going here. And uh, let us know a little bit more in advance. That'd be great. So, uh, Anger, take it away. Yeah, I just have a real quick shout-out here. Uh, first, from Chill from the Codford Network. Uh, hey, you don't... Got the shout out. This is out, but it's in March 14th. Okay, March 14th, ladies and gents, the COD4 Network. Uh, I guess we're going to be casting Nen. I think that's what he's saying because I, I had it was broken English there, my friend. So if you can, you know, give me the shout out once again, I'll make sure I can uh, get that out to the people, the proper info, if that's not correct. So make sure you get that back to me, my friend. Uh, Mitzi's from ICG. Uh, that singing was a uh, Tish under beautiful. Uh, Lee horrendous. I'm sorry. Come on. How can you not like Jesse's Girl? Do not make me sing it again, Mitzi, as uh, I am the product of the 80s. I was born in the 70s, so you can kind of guess how old I am. But nevertheless, uh, you know, I love 80s music, and I'm not going to lie. It was the greatest era ever. Now, um, let's see here. The ICG, we have one here from DSX. Shout out to Mitzi's and the Ice Cold Game. I'm sorry, guys. Ice Cold Gang Bang? Okay, DSX, I'm trying to decipher what you're asking here, and I'm not sure if you're trying to get some love from them, maybe a group hug, I'm not really sure, let me know, and last and definitely not least, I have one here from Vash, I want, I want them to drug test done on Sage, so Vash is, is asking for a drug test on Sage, okay, alright, alright, well, what have we learned here, Wansom, tonight, uh, other than that, that the mob gaming and Pure Match will be done on Thursday. Other than that, what did we learn tonight, Wansom? Um, you know, uh, there's not a huge difference between Pro Mod and Dam Mod, in my opinion. Uh, you, you do see a little bit of difference in the pistol play, in my opinion. Some of the SMGs play a bit different. But uh, overall, uh, skill gap, not going to change between Pro Mod and Dam Mod. Uh, you know, I, I didn't expect it to, and that just further reassured my point tonight. All right, all right. Now, I've been confirmed here by Chill. He's let me know, yes, the draft is starting March 14th. Now, I will not be here. I will be in Miami. I will be soaking up the sun. Um, so I will be there March uh, the, on 14th on that date. Uh, but I will try to be there because I'm going to buy a new laptop. So hopefully I can be able to cast it with you guys from Miami. Yes, Benvenido on Miami. So, um... Oh, well, here, real quick, Amped, shout out to all my homeboys, that's from Amped, I'm not sure all of his homeboys are, but that's okay. We have one here from Zintz, uh, that dynamic is bad, that is from Zintz, X-I-E-N-C-3, I can't pronounce that name, but I apologize. Alright, that is all I have. Um, Limic, any words before we put this away? Uh, not really, no. Alright, alright. Now, just again, really quick again, thanks John from Axis Pro. Uh, Access Pro Solutions. Make sure you check them out. Uh, go to the eREV site. Click on that link right above. Use the eREV coupon. Uh, you get three free slots. I can't say that enough. And make sure you idle and perform. Uh, pound E-Rev and also our partners, Pound Access Pro. 
make sure you idle them, perform them, show them love, and they will show you love right back. All right. For myself, Anger, Wansom, and of course, the Canadianator, Lamech, I'd like to say good night as Pierre has beat Dynamic 16 to 8 in the Sevo P makeup match week number five. So until next time, until Thursday, adios. Erev, apply directly to the forehead. Erev, apply directly to the forehead. Erev is not responsible for any monitor to head related injuries. Do at your own risk.